Friends, I'd like to talk to you about uh, the videos that were out this summer at the Jehovah Witness conventions. And the one that uh, really got pretty big hits was the bunker videos. Uh, when I saw that, it reminded me of uh, bunkers that Hitler used uh, to fight the American people on D-Day. And the soldiers climbed those mountains trying to get to the Germans. The bunkers. The Americans had to knock those bunkers out to get up there. Now, when you hear the word bunker, it sounds more like a war, a war zone. Bunkers. Now, in this particular uh, video about the Jehovah Witness hiding down in bunkers from uh, troops of the system that's coming after them, uh, it seemed to me it's taking place during the Great Rapture. Uh, not Armageddon, but in reality, uh, both are in reality the same damn thing. Uh, you're in trouble. Somebody's in trouble, whether it's a rapture or whether it's Armageddon. You're in trouble. What I can't understand, though, is these Jehovah Witnesses down in this bunker, uh, they're hiding or think they are protected from troops that are roaming the area looking for them. See? And... Uh, you know you can't hide from, from them. I mean, they're going to get you. But why are they hiding? If you're God's people, this is the main point of this video. If you are God's people, why are you down in a bunker? If you got the channel of God, as they say they are, which is false, but let's, in this case, pretend they are God's channel. Why are you down in a bunker? Hey? And through those videos uh, about these bunkers during this summer's convention of Jehovah Witnesses, you never heard nothing from the governing body. What, uh, aren't they supposed to be running the show? They ran the show all the way up to then, but now you don't hear no more about the governing body. Aren't the governing body supposed to be taking the lead and directing their people into the new system of things? Aren't they supposed to be doing that? They're Christ's brothers, aren't they? Hey, Why do you not hear from the governing body during these bunker videos? You don't. You don't, do your friends. You just see a bunch of people, oh, I don't know how many it was, 8, 10, down in a bunker hiding from the troopers, see. And uh, you can see that the, by them being down there that they were afraid of something, see. But my question is, where is your reliance on your Creator to help you during this time? And do you think being down there is going to protect you? In, in the world, yes, uh, you probably could hide a few more days from the system that's looking for you. But now we're talking about Bible prophecy. You're going to get down in a bunker, and that's going to protect you from the system. That's going to protect you from the system. So, you notice that uh, there was one black brother down in them bunkers with these people. There was only one. I don't know how that got in there, but there was one black brother in that bunker. See? And uh, I don't know why they had him in there, because uh, everyone else was uh, of the white race. But he was in there. <laughs> it seemed like to me uh, the bunker videos was trying to show how society is today on the advertisements on TV. Trying to get minorities into the 
the uh, uh, advertisements of the world. Advertising cars, advertising swimming pools, advertising anything. And now they're showing a lot of minority people uh, in these videos. They never did this before, but now they are. Why? I don't know. And uh, these uh, uh, people down in this bunker are people that are still trying to sing to me. They're still going to meetings, uh, get, uh, taking the lead on in prayer or uh, your comment. What do you have to say? Well, it, as if you are at a meeting. And then, friends, if you indeed are God's people, and indeed you are protected by Jehovah, why ain't you at a kingdom hall? Why not hold up at a kingdom hall? Because it's God's spirit is going to protect you. He's going to protect you in the bunker, or he's going to protect you at the kingdom hall. Okay, you, you get the point here now? You're trying to use worldly tactics to protect yourself, but in reality, it is a godly protection you need. You don't need a bunker protection. You need a godly protection. And you don't have it here. The way they're acting. No, you don't. Those troops are going to get down in there and get you. So why not go to the Kingdom Hall where you always have spent your whole life talking about how Jehovah blesses his people, what he's going to do for you, and how you're going to get into the new system of things and where you always be protected by Jehovah. And you would always have the governing body directing you. Well, friends, in this bunker video, there is no direction by the governing body. I didn't see it. It, it, is, it, it. it is as if that the governing body fled. They fled the scene. Like in the old Western movies, the crook always flee the scene. When the good guys, or in this case the bad guys, are closing in, they flee. Well, if the gun and body didn't flee in this bunker video, where are they at? Where are they at? It's a good question, isn't it? They have led you this far. They have brainwashed you into all these meetings and and, and got you feeling as though you are the only people in the world that's right. The only people that is not going to go down at Armageddon. But in this case, you're relying on a bunker to protect you. <laughs> well, it's just like uh, the Vietnam War. See? How they would dig holes down into the ground to, uh, to hide from the enemy. Now, the the American boys did and so did the Viet Cong do it. Everyone's digging into a hole to hide from someone who's trying to do them harm. And in this case, the Watchtower made a blunder. They got caught again with their pants down. They're not relying on Jehovah. How can you be relying on Jehovah if you're hiding in a bunker? You're hiding in a bunker, and yet you're the channel of God. Don't make no sense, does it? So, what this is only proven, friends, is that there is no channel of God, like I had in my last video. There is no channel of God. It's all a charade. It's all a myth. It's all a brainwashing tactic. See? That's all it is. Either you are being protected by God, or you're not. Now, if indeed you are being protected by God, me, if I really believe that, 
uh, it's 15 minutes from my house to a kingdom hall. That's where I would have went. See, and you might say, well, the bleeding heart, J.W. might yeah, but you might get caught before you got there. No, I won't. Not if Jehovah is in back of me. If Jehovah is guiding me and the channel of God has made arrangements for me to get to my hall so I can be there with my brothers and sisters and be protected, I'll get there. But if there is no channel of God, mm -mm, trying to get there is a mistake. See? But let's just say for a fact that they are God's people. And let's say for a fact that the channel of God is the channel of God. Well, there wouldn't have been no trouble at all getting to a kingdom hall and hiding there until all this thing blowed over. Let Jehovah do his thing and get rid of the people that run this system or whatever goes on during a tribulation. I don't know what goes on, but whatever goes on, let Jehovah handle it. It seems to me, yeah, that's it. It seems to me that the Watchtower is trying to handle everything. Think about it, friends. They're handling everything. Not God. Not God. You don't even, you don't even see God uh, play in, this, in these videos. What is he doing? They're discussing some nonsense down into a bunker. Frustrations and all of this kind of crap. Where is God? Hey, there is no talk about Jehovah's going to do this, Jehovah's going to do that, and then we're going to come out of here. You don't hear that, do you? They're going through a meeting while they're down in the bunker. That's the way it seems to me. So, friends, I'm just going to cut it short and say the bunker is all a charade. And it's like trying to show the people something that's not even reality. It's not reality when you're trying to do things your way and all along you have talked and bragged about how God protects his people. Even kingdom halls that are built. God intervened and made the sand get there to build that hall where there was no sand. But God made sand appear. You've all heard about that. Yeah. God moves in all these ways to protect his people or to provide for his people to get the good news preached throughout the world before the end comes. Well then, if that is the case, why are you going to run into a bunker? Why are you going to run into a bunker? I want an answer from a JW out there. Why are you in a bunker? If you are God's people, you don't have to run into no bunker. You know what that Bible says about 40,000 would fall or whatever the number was, and you would still be standing. Well, when does that come into play? Didn't God protect his people then? And won't he protect them now? If he protected them then, he'll protect them now. Yes, he will, friends. Yes, he will. But if you ain't God's people, it's all a charade, isn't it? It's all a charade. For the very idea to use God's name in a bunker video God wants you to hide down in a bunker. In a bunker. Instead of relying on him. You go to a bunker. <laughs> what a joke. What a joke. God's people don't have to go in no bunker. God's people, if he's protected by God, walk right down that bunker or outside that bunker and dare them to touch you. 
If God is backing you up, he's backing you up. So, in conclusion, friends, you think about this bunker deal. They, the Watchtower again, have screwed it up. They've been caught again with their pants down, trying to tell the people something that don't even make no damn sense at all. It makes no sense for you to run around this country or any other country talking about God is blessing y'all and he's doing this for you and he's doing this and he's doing that. But when it comes down to a push and a shove, you retreat into a bunker. My God, you might think the Viet Cong is up there looking for you and you can hide from him. Well, if you got God, you don't have to hide. Why you got to hide? Why would God not protect you if it came down to a situation like this bunker crowd? He wouldn't protect you? No, would it really come down to, friends, like I said before, again, the watchtower has screwed up. With their idea of hiding into a bunker. When they should be at the Kingdom Hall. They should be at the Kingdom Hall. Where y'all can have a study. Where y'all can pray to God. Where y'all can uh, be in complete agreement about what's going on out there. See? You don't have to hide. Be in the Kingdom Hall. But no, you used a worldly tactic. Of going into a bunker. Say, you showed your true colors. This is what, the way you really feel. But it failed. It failed. Ain't nobody believes that stuff. Except a zombie. They believe it. So, in conclusion, friends. The Bunker videos was a charade and a myth. And made no damn sense at all. If you are God's people, you don't have to go into a bunker. Thank you, friends. God bless.